Good afternoon, dear friends. Myself, S. S. Sonigra. Today we are going to discuss about the drafting symbols which are used in engineering. As we know, engineering drawing is the language of engineer. Without drawing, two engineers cannot talk. So, in drawing of any object, whenever two companies communicate with each other, which with each other, drawing is needed. And in a drawing of any object. it's needed to use some symbols means machining symbol welding symbol fitting symbol etc which type of machining should be done that should be inserted that should be written on the object so in a drawing it's not mentioned with the statement it's not written that do this machining operation over here or this kind of surface is needed so for indicating these requirements of the object the drawing symbols are used in the drawing today we will discuss about drafting symbols first is the machining symbol and its interpretation then second geometric symbols and its interpretation then other drafting symbols like threading toil pin ribs bearing etc then notes in drawing like heat treatment conditions surface conditions assembly notes etc first machining symbol and its interpretation why it's needed when it where it's needed how to draw the symbol and what's the interpretation of the symbol in any object surface conditions may be of three types the surface condition it may be cast it may be casted forged or machined so three types of surfaces may be there and that surface quality based on the need of product information and product function it may be smooth it may be rough it may be patterned in some surfaces smoothness is the prime criteria where the frictional losses need to be reduced in some surfaces roughness is the criteria where the transmission of power is there or contact is needed to be frictional and in some surfaces patterned surface needed pattern means in some rhythmic lines are there some straight lines some inclined lines some circular lines are there so this kind of product function may be there this is the symbol of machining operation it is drawn like this a small triangle this is an extended line and these lines these two lines make an angle of 60 degree with this reference line this is the surface which is to be machined and this shown this shows the inner portion of the surface so this is the symbol to draw machining operation and various letters are there which are written in this this is the former machining symbols like this s and s s and dash formerly this machining symbol was used after that this kind of symbols were used just v if you refer the drawings drawn much earlier say 32 35 years old in those drawings this type of this type of symbols are observed nowadays this type of symbols are used and these are the recommended symbols like this triangle and an extension line like this and here horizontal lines is also there this is the machining symbol complete machining symbol in this machining symbol various letters a b c d e f and g have some meaning at the place of letter a some letter is written say for example 20 or 30 would be written so value of a represents ra value that is surface roughness of this age it's indicated over here then b here value written at the place of b indicates the method of machining which type of machining should be used it may be turning it may be milling grinding etc so that is mentioned over here at value of c cut off value or evolution length is indicated over here 
एट द प्लेस ऑफ डी सिंबल ग्रेन डिरेक्शन और डिरेक्शन ऑफ ले इज टू बी शॉन द डिरेक्शन ऑफ ले मे बी पैरल टू इच अदर और दे मे बी परपेंडिकुलर और सर्क्यूलर इन नेचर एट ई मशीनिंग अलाउंसिस इज टू बी शॉन एंड एट एफ ओवर हियर द पैरामीटर अदर देन आर ए टू बी इंडिकेटेड इन टू ब्रैकेट ओवर हियर एंड जी इंडिकेट्स सरफेस अंडुलेशन मीन्स विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस सरफेस दिस पैरामीटर आर टू बी कंप्यूटेड दिस इज द सिम्बल ऑफ मशीनिंग ए बी सी डी ई एफ एज वी डिस्कस्ड एंड दिस इज अ टिपिकल एग्जाम्पल शोइंग मशीनिंग सिम्बल एट प्लेस ऑफ ए हियर ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव इज मैंशन इट मीन्स दैट द रफनेस वैल्यू ऑफ दिस सरफेस दिस सरफेस इज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव माइक्रोमीटर और ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फाइव माइक्रॉन एट प्लेस ऑफ बी टर्न इज रिटर्न टर्न मीन्स टर्निंग ऑपरेशन प्रोडक्शन मेथड सो दिस सरफेस इज टू बी प्रिपेर्ड बाय टर्निंग ऑपरेशन दैट इज मैंशनड ओवर हियर एट द प्लेस ऑफ सी फाइव इज रिटर्न ओवर हियर सो फाइव मीन्स द सैम्पलिंग लेंथ फाइव सेंटीमीटर इज द सैम्पलिंग लेंथ विच इज टू बी टेकन टू मेजर द सर्फेस वैल्यू सर्फेस रफनेस वैल्यू डी इज द डिरेक्शन ऑफ ले हियर एट द डिरेक्शन ऑफ ले डी सी इज मैंशन द मीनिंग ऑफ कैपिटल सी इज सर्क्यूलर एंड द डिरेक्शन ऑफ ले ऑफ दिस सर्फेस शुड बी सर्क्यूलर सो इफ यू लुक फ्रॉम द टॉप साइड ऑफ दिस सर्कल द लेयर डिरेक्शन शुड बी सर्क्यूलर इन नेचर इट्स द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ दिस सर्फेस then at place e here at this place 2 is written it indicates the machining allowances and here 2 mm machining allowances should be left and f is not not mentioned in this diagram so it's not needed other th- roughness values but here it is not mentioned so it may not be needed so it is not compulsory that all this a to f all dimensions to be inserted in this triangle some needed dimensions are to be inserted and rest all are considered that they are not important or not requirement this is the surface symbol so if the symbol is drawn like this here no line line is not drawn so its meaning is that the surface may be produced by any method so here it's not needed whichever method you use you may use grinding drilling grinding or facing turning milling any operation and you can prepare this surface that is the meaning of this kind of surf- uh, symbol if the symbol is drawn like this a line is there it means that material removal required here in this case you may not be needed to remove the material but in this case the removal of material is required and if is the symbol is drawn like this a circle is there it means that material removal is prohibited you cannot remove the material from the surface without removing the material we have to achieve this shape that is the meaning of this kind of symbol suppose the symbol is drawn like this a triangle reverse triangle extension line and n6 is written over here so what's the value of n6 value of roughness that achieved with machining process is to be indicated by n6 and value of n6 is nearly equal to 0.8 microns approximately and value of n6 vary from n1 n2 n3 that we will discuss later on what is the difference between n1 n2 n3 etc suppose the symbol is drawn like this n6 and here line is not there if line is not drawn over here in this triangle it means that the value of roughness that achieved with machining process that is n6 that is 0.9 micron so both are similar first and second line may be drawn may not be drawn now if instead of the line circle is drawn over here so circle is drawn 
it means that the roughness value n6 must be achieved without machining operation here machining operation is not allowed to be done in this kind of symbol if the symbol is drawn like this symbol and reverse the t is drawn over here it means that the machining process must follow groove direction the machining process should be done in such a way that the groove direction should be maintained this is the second symbol if the symbol is drawn like this and here it is written that polished so what is the meaning of this polished polished means must be done with polishing operation the surface must be prepared with polishing operation over here another symbol written like this 5.1 and 1.6 it means that the upper and lower limit of array value that is roughness of the surface that should be 5.1 to 1.6 means minimum roughness value should be 1.6 and maximum value should be 5.1 micron if this is the symbol written with grind grind means must be done with grinding operation we have to prepare the indicated surface where this point touches with the help of grinding operation if it is written milling or just capital m it means that the surface should be prepared with milling operation only so we have to prepare we have to do milling operation to prepare the given surface both the symbols are alike you may write milling or in some cases just m is written both are equal this is the symbol now what's the meaning of parameter d here as we discuss uh, the c was written in earlier case and perpendicular sign was done in earlier case what's the meaning of value d if at the place of value d this symbol is drawn like this two horizontal line at the value of d over here two lines its meaning is like this its meaning is that the direction of grains left by the cutting instrument are parallel to the projection plane of the drawing where the symbol is entered for example shaped surface if in this symbol two horizontal lines like this are to be drawn over here at the place of d like this one line over here another line over here it means that the direction of grain left by cutting instrument should be parallel to the projection plane of the drawing like this this is an example of parallelism here two parallel lines are drawn in this symbol so these lines cutting action should be like this so these lines should be parallel to each other and this shows the direction of grain left by cutting instrument means cutting instrument or cutting tool should move in this direction only if the value of d instead of value of d this symbol is drawn a reversed t instead of drawing two horizontal line this t is drawn reverse t is drawn it means what means that the direction of grains left by cutting instrument are perpendicular to projection plane of the drawing where the symbol is entered in the previous case it was parallel and in this present case it's a perpendicular the examples are shaped surface side view circular cut cylindrical cut etc and this is the example if the symbol is drawn like this reversed t or the over here it means that the direction of cutting should be like this perpendicular to this axis or this plane like this in this direction the direction of grain left by cutting instrument should be here which was horizontal in the previous case like this now if at value of parameter d some other symbol x is drawn like cross mark is done over here at d it means what it means like this it means that the direction of grains left by the cutting instrument intersect in two directions at angles to the projection plane of the drawing where the symbol is entered means this kind of pattern should be there 
example honed surface when honing operation is done such kind of pattern may be desired for example in case of connecting rod the big end internal portion of big end of the connecting rod is prepared by honing operation and at that time the honing pattern needs to be there so honing pattern may be achieved like this so two direction are there the direction of grain left by cutting instrument should be at right angle or it may be at certain angle so that is represented by this symbol so in drawing it will not be written that prepare this kind of surface just the it they will put x mark over here at place of d if you put x over here it's mean it means that we have to prepare this upper surface like this tool should be moved in in this direction first it should be moved in this along this direction and secondly it should be moved along this direction now if a value of parameter d over here it is drawn like this m is shown instead of d capital m or just symbol like m is drawn what's the meaning of that m it means like this direction of grains left by the cutting instrument intersect in multiple directions or have no direction it may be haphazard it may move anywhere over the surface examples in case of lapped surfaces super finished surface and surface finished by front milling or end milling with cross fit such kind of pattern may be needed now another example of value of d at value of d c is written like this at this machining symbol at the place of d here c is written capital c it means what it means that the requirement is circular symbol is c like this grains left by the cutting instrument are virtually concentric around the center of the projection plane of the drawing where the symbol is inserted if symbol is drawn over here it means that this surface should have circular cut here this kind of